Good morning, Flo. How are you today? Well, there's something wrong with my mouth. What's wrong? It's burning and it hurts and it gets awfully dry. Xerostomia is the sensation of dry mouth and diminished salivary flow. It is very common in older adults and also in those with multiple medical conditions, Alzheimer's disease, dehydration, on medications with anticholinergic effects, and those receiving chemotherapy or radiation therapy. The most common cause of xerostomia is as a side effect of medications. There are hundreds of medications that influence salivary function, and combinations of these medications can cause severe xerostomia. I, I, tr I try to open my mouth and chew, and I just, it just doesn't work out right. I Persons with xerostomia have problems with chewing, swallowing, taste, speech, and wearing dentures, and are at increased risk of oropharyngeal infections, tooth decay, gum disease, and weight loss. I've updated your care plan, and I have a few products here that I want to show you that you can use that should help, okay? Nurses have a key role to play in identifying and relieving xerostomia symptoms. While it's important that nurses are involved in an interprofessional team of health and dental professionals to determine the best interventions for individual patients, there are dry mouth oral care protocols that can be implemented to provide the patient substantial relief. A little bit. We'll just put some on your lips. These include the application of non-petroleum lubricants on lips, tongue, and oral tissues every two hours, the use of non-prescription gels, mouth rinses, and toothpastes that are specifically for dry mouth, and, now we're gonna have a little sip. and rinsing the mouth before and after meals and at bedtime with either saline solution, soda water, or non-alcohol fluoride mouth rinse depending on severity. Certain products should be avoided for patients with xerostomia. These include glycerin swabs, hydrogen peroxide, hard toothbrushes, standard toothpastes, alcohol-based mouthwash, and any spicy food, all of which can be highly irritating in dry mouths. Let me give you a hand. Oral hygiene care interventions include a minimum of twice daily brushing of teeth and mouth tissues with an ultra soft brush, starting with the rinsing of the brush in hot water to soften the bristles even more. Okay, love, does that feel better? Yes, a lot better. If toothpaste is being used, apply only a pea sized amount of a non foaming toothpaste with no sodium lauryl sulfate. Other oral care interventions include thorough denture cleaning with a denture brush and lubrication of the denture with mouth gel twice daily and daily monitoring for signs of oral infection. Additional symptom relief measures include the use of sugar-free items such as gum, lozenges, candies, or mints. Good to make sure that you have sips of water in between. The encouragement of drinking lots of sugar-free fluids while eating, particularly water, and ensuring a low-sugar diet. Changes in medical treatments and medications and prescribing moisturizing agents can substantially improve xerostomia. Regular dental visits are necessary to monitor for and prevent xerostomia-related oral health complications. Does your mouth feel any better? A lot better. Nurses need to be aware of xerostomia in their patients, especially in older patients, or those on several medications, with multiple medical conditions, or those receiving cancer therapies. Appropriate interventions can provide substantial relief of dry mouth, while reducing the risk of oral complications and further exacerbation of health problems.